Hello, I'm Dean from OwnYourWedding.com and I'm going to give you a quick look at our wedding guest list spreadsheets. So, first thing that you want to do is to sign into your Google account and once you've done that, click on the link in our wedding guest list starter guide and you'll arrive at this page here. So this is just a quick introduction to the spreadsheet and some of the key features. So next thing to do is to save a copy to your own Google Drive so you can edit it for your own wedding. So to do that, simply go to File, Make a Copy, put in the name for your new spreadsheet, click OK. So the first thing we can do is have a quick look at the example guest list from um, Hannah and my wedding. So if you go to the bottom you can see the tab here for guest list example. So as you can see we've got all the names of our lovely wedding guests down here on the left and we've grouped them depending on whether they're in the bride's family, the groom's family, whether they're friends. Um, at the top we have obviously the most important people, the groom and the bride. Actually probably should have put the bride at the top of the list there. Oops, sorry Hannah. Um, as you can see we've also got then a column where you can specify what role that person is playing on the day. So obviously you've got the bride and the groom and you can have things like the best man etc. Who's giving away the bride. Um, just to keep track of who's doing what. And then the rest of the columns are all fairly self-explanatory but they've each got various settings that you can select from the drop down list. So for example here we've got the guest priority um, where you can choose whether someone's low, medium, high or a definite priority. And it may sound a bit harsh to do this but we found we had to do it because we were limited by the number of guests we could have and uh, this allowed us just to put a rating next to everyone and then ultimately decide on who we kept and who we had to leave out. So fairly obviously there were some people who we thought were definitely going to have to be at our wedding so they took the definite priority and then went through and set high, medium or low and um, so as you can see by the time we'd finished we only end up having definite people or high priority people and sadly the medium and low people had to go but that's just the way it goes, we couldn't afford to have everyone there. So the rest of the columns, we've got uh, a guest type where you can choose whether the person is an adult, child or a baby. And the remaining ones are all just reminders for yourself. So initially you'd say that th this part of the um, process hasn't been started. And then as you go through the process, as you're thinking about it, you can set it to in progress. And then when you've finally done, you can hit complete. And you can see that the color changes for each one. So you get a very nice visual reminder of whether you've actually completed a task or not. The rest of them are then for things like sending out, say the dates and invitations. So same again, you've got not started, in progress and complete. And then you've got the RSVP column where you can add whether you have not received a reply, whether they've declined your invitation or whether they have accepted. And then finally there's a thank you card setting so you can remind yourself after the wedding whether you've sent them a thank you card. And there's some other columns here where you can add some more information. So we have we added a column where we could note down what gift we received from that guest so that when we send a thank you card we can mention the gift which is a nice personal touch and the phone number and address which obviously we've removed from this example one. So to create your own you simply have to go to the blank guest list. You can see this is all set up ready for you to use and you can obviously add in the important names here and then you can go through and start adding the rest of your guests. And remember this doesn't have to be the final guest list. Um, initially you can just add as many people as you like, see how many people you've got on there and then like us you can use the guest priority rating to ultimately bring the numbers down to whatever your your limit is and I think that's about it so if you have any questions you can email us at deanandhannah at ownyourwedding.com and we'll get back to you